Hello, I'm Zarkoon, this is World of Warships Legends. Today I've got a battle for you on Sleeping Giant. It's a domination mode game in the Tier 7 Japanese gunboat destroyer Akazuki. Although this game is not really so much about the Akazuki, instead it's more about how two players on a team can absolutely dominate a game while the other seven players on their team just completely potato. That is what's going to happen here. Myself and the Sharnhorst behind me are going to be the two most valuable players on this team. The rest of our team is pretty much going to do absolutely nothing, and the signs of that are apparent as this Helena, who I am asking not to do what he is doing, decides to abandon his spawn and sail toward the remaining friendly ships. My plan right now is to approach the Alpha Cap from the westerly entrance, or the western entrance. The Alpha Cap is surrounded by islands on either side. It creates kind of this circle of death, and when I spawn here, I do like to go west and approach the Alpha Cap from this flank. It's usually very protected, and as long as I have support, any enemy ships coming in the same direction from the other side of the map, we're going to be able to put up some resistance, hopefully win any skirmishes, and then take the alpha cap. And it's good that we're doing this, because at this point, our teammates are doing absolutely nothing. We have two destroyers down there, clustered in a grid square with a battleship, near an island far south of the Charlie Cap as a friendly cruiser attempts to enter the cap, which is turning red because it is being flipped by the enemies. That cruiser effectively has no support, and he's probably not going to last for too long, although he is going to last a little bit longer than you might suspect. And good for that guy, he is trying to make the winning move. The same cannot at all be said for the rest of my team. The majority of them are clustered between two grid squares, sort of in between Bravo and Charlie to the south, and they are going to remain there for a very, very long time. The Sharnhorst and I are about to enter the Alpha Cap. We are going to flip it, and the position we gain by doing so is going to allow us to have crossfire shots across the map, more so the Sharnhorst than me. But from the Alpha Cap, we can shoot into the Bravo one, and potentially that Sharnhorst can shoot at some targets near or even inside of the Charlie Cap. The rest of the team are essentially just acting as targets to distract the enemy. That is literally all you are doing if you cluster up inside a single grid square. How many ships do we have there south of Bravo and Charlie? It's got to be five or six of them, all within a grid square space on the map. They're just targets. If they have any enemy battleships shooting at them, since they're all in the same position, the enemies can get into positions around them, there will be a point where there will be no way for all of that, all of those ships in that square to angle against all of the incoming fire. They're doing a good job of melting that York because he's pushed out too far and potatoed himself. He goes down as the first kill on the enemy team. We've already lost a cruiser. A Bismarck is also pushing into the Bravo Cap straight at the cluster of friendly ships. He too is not going to last for very long under sustained focus fire, and you may think that this cluster is proving its worth. Not so much. After it takes out these two ships, things are going to fall apart, and the enemy has been able to flip the Charlie Cap with almost zero resistance, apart from a very brave friendly cruiser who is now deceased. Meanwhile, the Sharnhorst and I have both secured Alpha, and we are providing supporting fire into the broadside of this Bismarck. I've lit a fire, I'm continuing to rain down high explosive shells on the guy who continues to push forward inadvisedly 
into a cluster of many, many friendly ships. He's lost a lot of hit points and he is soon going to go down. Meanwhile, the two friendly destroyers on my team still are a grid square away from where they were at the start of the match. They haven't even attempted to approach any of the cap circles, they are just sitting there. I know one of them is a Shiratsu Yu, the other is a Benham. Both fairly stealthy ships with a lot of torpedoes that can be used to take caps. Why are they not doing it? I don't know. That's just going to leave it up to me and the Scharnhorst. Now, at this point, we do have a lead in terms of ship count, but the enemy team has pushed through Charlie, and they are about to flank that cluster of friendly ships. We've got a Synop here pushing out into Bravo, or I guess reversing into Bravo. He's being fired on by the Scharnhorst, and very soon he'll be fired on by me taking up a position next to this little outcropping of rock, which should hopefully conceal me as I try to light a fire on this Synop. Now, we do not have a ship lead. Two friendly ships have gone down, including the Benham Destroyer. The Sharnhorst, I think, has entered Bravo. So at this point, we have a battleship trying to flip a cap. It's not gonna work out too well for him, He's pushing the Synop, which is fine, and that Synop is under a sustained barrage of fire. Doesn't look like he's going to last much longer. Luckily for the Synop, he is very heavily armored, and these Russian battleships are fairly resistant to high explosive shells. Tend to get a lot more shatters on them than you do on other nations' battleship, and with the Akizuki that is especially pronounced, you can see the majority of my shell hits are in fact shatters, but we're still doing a little bit of damage on this Synop. We're helping the Sharnhorst take him down. He's under HE fire from somebody else, and in fact it's the Helena that spawned with us who takes him down. King George out there can't really see me, so... I'm laying down a little bit of fire on him as I move toward Bravo, which my team desperately needs to flip. We are down to five ships versus six enemies. The friendlies have finally moved out of their cluster in the middle of the map, but the enemy team has pretty good map control here. They are more spread out than we are, and we've got a kid here moving in. I'm opening fire on him. Hopefully we're gonna be able to take him down. There are still three enemy destroyers left. He is one, and to me, by far, he is probably the most dangerous since he is a gunboat. Taking some fire there, I think, from a cruiser, it removes quite a lot of hit points, but we are able to finish off the enemy kid for our first kill of the game. The cruiser is an Azuma. The island between myself and the Azuma does prevent him from spotting me, and the Azuma doesn't stand up well to sustained high explosive spam. We are getting damaging hits on him with our shells, but he is getting closer to this island, and therefore our shells don't really have clearance over the island to hit him. Now we are detected either by sonar from the Azuma or radar from the Cleveland, not sure which, but we are very much trying to secure this capture circle for our team. Friendly Shiratsu Yu is out there now to the north of the capture circle, having done pretty much absolutely nothing this entire game, and I don't know what he's going to do for the rest of it. I'm in a very dangerous position, but we do really need to flip this cap. We can't afford to allow the enemy to take it. Azuma coming out broadside from behind that island. I've launched torpedoes and used the torpedo reload booster. Hopefully these torpedoes will kill him. He does take two right on the nose, that's nearly enough to take him down. Switching to the armor piercing, he cannot see me, and I am able to eliminate him here. But then I get radared by the Cleveland, so I've got to kick it into full gear, try to get behind this island. 
Turns out it must have been the Azuma's sonar that was detecting me at first. Unfortunately, there was really no way to know for sure, and because of that, the Cleveland nearly finishes me off before I am able to get into cover behind this island. A single tap from any one of his shells would end my game here. Luckily for me, his radar has expired, and he is no longer inside of the cap circle, which hopefully will allow me to flip it. Somebody, I think it was the Sharnhorst, has flipped Charlie for us. And now, most of our entire team is dead, but this Sharnhorst and I have done the lion's share of work. Almost nobody else on our team has actually contributed to trying to win this game. So, when you go out in your ship, please do not cluster up in a single grid square and ignore the caps. You're not doing anything to protect yourself. In fact, clustering up like that puts you at an extreme disadvantage. That is why the enemy was ahead in terms of ship count on us. And frankly, we could still lose this game. I am a one-shot kill. There's a friendly Shiratsu Yu who the Cleveland would have no problem eliminating instantly if you can spot him, and the friendly Sharnhorst, who has done a lot of work, a lot of heavy lifting throughout this game, an excellent performance by him, is squaring off against the final enemy destroyer. I would like to get over there to see if I can help him out, but actually I don't think he's going to need my help. He is going to end up taking out that destroyer, and he's going to be on low enough health that the Cleveland would have no problem finishing him off as well. I don't think the Sharnhorst's 283mm guns can actually overmatch the bow armor of the Cleveland. So if the Cleveland points his bow at the Sharnhorst and unleashes a high explosive rain of terror on him, then the Sharnhorst would be in trouble. Sharnhorst does take down the last remaining enemy destroyer, it's a Udachi. Cleveland is entering Alpha, so at this point, we really don't have anything left to do. This game is wrapped up thanks to me and the Sharnhorst securing the Alpha cap, me securing the Bravo cap, and then the Sharnhorst finally securing the Charlie cap. Between the two of us, we have secured all of the caps in this game. None of our teammates have secured a single one. I also have three kills to my name. The Sharnhorst, I believe, has four. So, eight enemy ships. Or maybe the Sharnhorst doesn't have four yet. I think he is going to perhaps finish off the Cleveland before this game is over. In any case, on the end screen, I'm going to have three kills. He's going to have four. That's eight out of nine enemy ships. Only one other ship on our team managed to sink somebody. So... We've killed the majority of the enemy team, we've taken all of the capture circles, and it just goes to show you how much of a team effort this game really is. Two players can exert an outsized influence on a match. It probably helps if they are in a division, which I was not in a division with the Sharnhorst. We were just on the same page. We apparently both knew what we needed to do to win the game, and we went out and did it. Unlike that Shiratsu Yu, who spent the majority of his time clustered up in a single grid square with the rest of the friendly team, and his big brilliant move at the end there was to go out and to try to torpedo a radar cruiser. So, there you go. That Sharnhorst, like I said, on fairly low health, he does have four kills, actually and he is not going to take out the Cleveland before this game ends. All we need to do is not die. Even if that Sharnhorst dies, I think he wants to go pursue a Kraken, which is fine. Even if he dies, I'm not going to die, and we are going to win. But, of course, he's not going to get that Kraken. So, actually, I think I was wrong. I got three kills, he got four, that's seven kills. Some other ship on our team got... A kill. I think it was on that York at the very beginning of the game. Other than that, this Sharnhorst and I completely 
completely carried the game because of our positioning, because we did not cluster up with our team in a black hole of death. So if you want to take anything away from this little rant, I don't mean to be too salty, but this game did really frustrate me. If you want to take anything away from it, it is don't cluster up with your teammates, spread out, try to take the caps. That's how you're going to win games. And luckily for us, because the Sharnhorst and I were on the team, this game is a victory for our team who honestly absolutely did not deserve it. No offense to any of the players on the team. I'm not trying to insult your intelligence or anything, but please don't cluster up like that. Hope you liked the video. If so, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Goodbye.